Hey Tubers, Bart 49ers Corner coming at you with a PSA return mail day. Finally got these back, sent these in at the very end of February. Got logged in like 13 March. It took every bit of time to grade them and then uh, I got stuck at the post office for a week. So what are you going to do? Um, did okay. The rices, I, I sent about 20 rices in. They did eh. But uh, I'm getting low on my list of, of rice cards that I know are going to score well. So... Um, got to get into the ones that I've kind of set down farther down the line, um, knowing they wouldn't do quite as well. Um, I sent in a good amount of 49ers base cards as well, and uh, they did okay. So I'm pretty happy overall. Sent this one in. This one is for our Super Bowl 29 team set. I just requested the, requested the edition. I was reviewing the checklist and uh, didn't have a kicker in that one. I just had the punter, so... That was our kicker. He was a rookie that year in the Super Bowl. So Doug Bryan, action packed. And we'll get into some of the 13 tops that I sent in. Alden Smith got a gem. Justin Smith got a gem. Mario Manningham got the gem. Andy Lee with the mint nine. Vernon Davis with the gem. Quentin Patton got the nine. Vance McDonald rookie got the gem. There's one I, I want to make sure I get tens in, in the big names. So Navarro Bowman got a gem as well. Tank Carradine got the gem. Crabtree got a gem. And Mikey Potty got the gem. So it's a pretty well on 13. As long as you can find the centering. They do pretty well. Um, I'm not sure what stacks. Uh, I sent them the Marino. It was kind of a test from a different box in 95 that I opened to see if I could pull 10s out of that box. It didn't work out. I'll test it with another one because I got sitting on a bunch of Hall of Famers. And I like Topps uh, base Hall of Famers. Uh, but if I can't, i got to put a couple of test ones in to see if, uh, if I can get the 10 out of, that, out of that box before I send a bunch of them in. Um, here's the first rice. Didn't do that well, but super low numbered, so be a pop one for quite some time. 2005 Leaf Limited. This is Rice and Fitzgerald, bound by round. And uh, this is numbered out of 25, so and it's sweet cut three color on Fitzgerald. Uh, 95 got the JJ Stokes rookie called the gem. Dana Stubblefield got a gem. Bart Oates got the gem. This one I was like, what the hell when I saw this pop up? I only scored a 7 on this, but if I looked at it at this real high angle or whatever, the corners got mashed. And so they're not rounded off or anything like that on the specific corner, but you can see kind of a little line on each corner like that. The corners got mashed in. So that's why I got the 7. Tim McDonald got the gem. So I'll obviously send that seven back with an unbetter version. Um, but Doug Bryan got an eight, and it took me a while to find it out. But there is a scuff right there, and uh, I had to see that one at a high angle too. But I found it. So did pretty decent on ninety fives. Got plenty of gems. Just got to upgrade a couple of those. Um, sent this in red refractor. Why are you gonna not create it, right? So out of 25, the 13 Frank Orr scored a mint 9. I feel kind of shafted on that one, though, because that centering is pretty damn good for that card. But still a beautiful card. All right, well, some more rices here. 05 Don Ross Classics. Pretty cool card. It's got Marcus Allen, Bo Jackson, and Jerry Rice on there. Numbered out of 1,000. Um, it's scuffed up a little bit, so pulled an eight. I'll take it. I guess since I only sent one of these in, they didn't put them in a coin holder, which I was kind of hoping for. But 96 Tombstone Pizza. Quarterback Club Caps. Got the eight. A um, one Flare Premium out of 900. Got an eight. Oh, here's another, a couple more 95s. 95, Taylor got a mint 9. 
So Polo got a mint nine. I'm pretty much going to keep the mint nines. I'm happy with that. The uh, Brent Jones got a ten. Norton Jr. got a nine. Martin Hanks got the gem. William Floyd got the nine. Sent this one in just because I pulled it and I just thought it was a cool card. So Sterling Sharp, thousand three thousand booster out of ninety five tops. Only scored a mint nine on that one, but a pretty sweet card nonetheless. Um, I got a couple other randoms that I sent in as well, I like that. We may show up and care packages to somebody at some point. We've got the Marshall Falk in a mint nine from SP. 99 authentic. Uh, Culpepper got a mint nine as well. Sent in the moss. These are tough on centering, but I went off of gems that I could find online and where their centering looked because their centering is not all consistent, always consistent. But we got the mint nine on that one. And I only sent this one in because I, I saw an Edgar James set. Um, this is exactly what the centering looked like, and it pulled a gem. So. That's what I went off of. And you don't really see any other damage. But only got an 8 on that one. So that's kind of a. Took the L on that sub. Um, sent some other cards for somebody else. So you don't get to see those. Um, they can show them in their own video if they make one. And then I sent in a couple of optics. This one was the first optic of Bosa. So I subbed it for the Defensive Rookie of the Year set. So we'll see when that boat comes out, whether this one goes or Prism. Um, but pretty happy with the gem on that. And I pulled a Carson. These are all out of just target boxes. I got the blue out of 149. Pulled a 9. Um, of course the non-numbered one pulled the gem. The pink got a 10. These will probably just get thrown up on the bay. The base Wentz got a 9. Yeah, I had good luck pulling Wentz's, but nobody else big. I just subbed this because, I don't know, I'd have seen this card 50 sometimes in my PC. This is the best one I ever could ever find. <laughs> so I got an 8. 91 Fleer is tough, man. Same with this Rice. Just never subbed one because I could never find a decent one. So I just finally subbed it and was like, well, there's no chipping. The center isn't too bad, but still only pulled an 8 on that. And is this numbered? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gold Ultimate Collection from 03 at a 75. Scored an 8. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that's a, nah, there's two soft corners, so I'll take that. This one's a beauty, though. Same set. 03 Ultimate Collection. The Rice Terrell Owens Dual Game Jersey. Had a 250. Pulled the gem. Pretty sweet card. And then one more stack here. This is a great card, but one of the reasons why, you know, subbing the thick cards, the patch cards and stuff, they're pretty cool, especially even autos, you know. They're cool cards, and you can only, like, sometimes make them, you know, I don't say less cool, but, you know, you can only sometimes take them down a notch based on grades. This is kind of one of those, because this is a beauty of a card. Nobody will sell this to you for cheap. That's for damn sure. I got it in a trade. Um, O2 Tops Chrome. Gridiron Badges Jerseys. Only pulled five there. And this thing is hand numbered out of 150. You know. I'm sure it was just a secretary hand numbered. But still a tough card. Uh, only pulled five. But great looking card anyway. I'm not really a fan of these cards. I have a couple of different Niners like this. But I sent them in. And that is as good as a grade as you're going to get for a card that thick. Does anybody know? I mean, look, this is a, a made-up patch, but it is it is not small. So to pull an 8 on that, um, out of 03 Everdeck patch collection, I will take it. I'm going to pull out of my 95 box. Figured I'd send it in. I knew the centering was the only thing on that, that could have dinged me. And then, of course, it did. So I got the 9. Um, low pop, though. I think there's only like one or two higher of these. So... Barry Sanders Refractor. The finest booster refractor with the coating. The Hall of Famer. 
Eddie DeBartolo needed a card of his to put into some 49er sets, so boom, threw that in there. Didn't wasn't perfect. Got the mint nine. That's only a pop two, none higher. So and that is on the PSA set. That is the card for if you do the Hall of Fame set with uh, coaches and admin. So we're happy with this one. Um, yeah, I'm real happy with that. 99 SP Authentic. Did not pull this one. I broke a bunch of boxes of SP Authentic from, and you saw those earlier cards. I busted all of those, but this one I bought on my own. And uh, so real happy to get that through the mail and then grade it and pull a nine. Um, here's a real good looking card. 99 Leaf Certified, Certified Skills. This is a Rice and Randy Moss. So Rice on the front, Moss on the back. Not numbered, but mint nine. I'm happy with that. 2000 Don Russ Elite Pass the Torch. This is a rice on one side, moss on the other out of 500. And uh, this is my second one subbing of these. And uh, both got mint nine, so it's pop two, none higher. Got both of them. These are horrific on left to right centering and top to bottom, but left to right is pretty, pretty nasty. So I have to have those in nine. 94 tops, 1,000, 3,000, Jerry Rice, pulled the 9. That's a chromish card, basically one of the, uh, you know, the first, like, chromish card like that. So, pretty happy with that. Hey, buddy. Um, happy with this grade, because this is a freaking impossible card. It's always in just garbage condition. So, 94 Stadium Club, Ringleaders. Man, that is a beauty of a card, too. 94 Proline Live Spotlight. Got the Gem 10. This one's cool. 95 Images Live. Jerry Rice and Steve Young. Focused is the subset. And that is a gem. Um, another cool one. 95 Collector's Edge. Jerry Rice Black Label Quantum Motion. Pulled the gem. 95 Collector's Edge, Jerry Rice, Edge Tech, 22 karat gold. Pulled the mint nine. 95 Action Packed, Monday Night Football. Pulled the mint nine. Anytime you get a mint nine on Action Packed, you gotta take it and run. And then uh, last one here, 2002 Fleer Showcase, Jersey, Jerry Rice. Pulled an eight. And I gotta be happy all day long if I get an eight on a jersey. So those are my returns. Thanks for watching. And uh, I don't know. Next time might be a while. Not getting much here, especially if they start keep screwing with my mail and everything. So I might just wait till the next spot, and that'll be you know a good couple of weeks. So we'll see if I have more for you in the coming days. But thanks for watching, and until next time, later.